Hi everyone, this is Kevin again, product manager on the LogMeIn Care Support Platform. Welcome to the Go to My PC Getting Started tutorial. Today, I will be walking through the process of installing Go to My PC on a work computer and accessing that computer from home. Okay, so as anyone who has seen my other videos will attest, I would like to call out early that you must have physical access to your work computer and have the ability to install software on that computer. If you do not have physical access to your computer, or do not have the ability to install software, I recommend reaching out to your IT partner for assistance with getting software installed. To use GoToMyPC, first you must register for a free trial or purchase a plan. After you set up your account, you will have to download and install GoToMyPC. If you are just registering a GoToMyPC account for the first time, please note that you will need to confirm your email address before you can add a computer. On your work computer, log in at GoToMyPC.com. Once logged in, click Add this computer towards the bottom of the screen. Click Install Go to My PC. You'll see the GoSetup.exe file will download. Double click that file when it finishes downloading to begin the installation process. Installation takes about two minutes. Here you can see I've been prompted to reboot this computer. I recommend rebooting, which I am going to do now. Upon reboot, I'm immediately asked to enter my account email and password, which will register the computer. The next screen will ask you to nickname the computer. Here, I'm going to change the default computer name, CENTCOM, to something a little easier to understand. I think in this case, I'll call this computer, Work Computer. I am now asked to create an access code. The access code is the key to accessing this computer remotely and cannot be the same as your account password. I'm going to create an access code of TEST1234. That's capital T-E-S-T-1234. -T I confirm this here and I get a registration successful screen along with instructions on how to access this computer from home. I click finish to exit setup and now I'm going to test this connection from my laptop. Okay, I'm now sitting on my laptop and I'm going to connect remotely to my work computer. I start by navigating to gotomypc.com and logging into my account. Here I can see Work Computer in the list of my computers, and I will click Connect. Depending on your browser, you may be asked to launch, download, or run a file, which I'm going to ask you to do now. When prompted, we're going to enter the access code for this computer that we created earlier, Test1234. You should now see the screen of your work computer, and you can interact with it just as if you were sitting in front of it. You will have total access to all documents and programs you would normally use on this computer. When you are ready to end your session, you can do so by going to the File menu in the upper left and selecting Disconnect. You can also click the X in the top right corner of the window. Click Disconnect when prompted, and your session will end. And that's it. You are now ready to connect to your work computer from home. Feel free to close the video or you can hang on for a quick look at some of the options you have during your remote control session. When connecting to your computer, GoToMyPC will automatically launch the viewer optimized for the type of computer you are accessing, whether it be a Mac or PC. At the top of the viewer window, you can access the features of GoToMyPC. The view menu consists of various options to adjust how the computer screen is displayed. 
If your screen appears fuzzy, or icons and text are too small to interact with, you may adjust the screen size by selecting the View menu. If you don't see the entire screen, you can move your cursor to the side, bottom, or top of the viewer window to scroll and see anything that might not be visible. You can also select any of the zoom percentages to find the size that works best for you. If you are connecting to your host computer from a Mac, you can also access this functionality on the top menu bar. A slider is available on the bottom right to quickly zoom in and out. The Tools menu includes the ability to send or receive files between your computers. You can also use the Tools menu to send the Control-Alt-Delete command when you are connected to a Windows computer. These functions can also be accessed from the buttons on the top edge of the viewer window. Mac users also have this functionality in the toolbar at the top of the viewer window. If you are connecting using a Windows computer, you may also see a sound icon in the top right of the window. You can adjust the volume or click the sound button to toggle sound on or off. If you are away from your desktop, you can also use Go to My PC on your smartphone for iOS or Android to stay connected from anywhere. Download the free Go to My PC app from the App Store or Google Play Store. Please note, to use the free mobile applications, you must have a current Go to My PC subscription. Thank you for viewing this brief quick start video for Go to My PC. To learn more about the features discussed here, check out other videos and how to tips on support.logmeinink.com forward slash go to my PC. Thanks for listening.